Hey guys, Swamp Stars 2. Thank you for joining me on another video. Today we are, have returned to Wrath Thrust. Thrust Ruler's plot. Thrust is an admin on the Darwin Reforged server. So we have returned here to view some more of it. Unfortunately, not in shaders. Every time I tried to start recording this in shaders, my FPS would drop to like 12. So I just figured I'd take off shaders and just have it run at a better FPS for you guys than to worry about teleporting all over the place. So with that being said, let's take a look around Dress's plot some more. I believe this is the main keep so we won't go in there but we'll explore everywhere else on it at least on the outside we'll do the main keep and from what i remember Colonel fetters saying is that there is a um more underground so it most likely will be under here so we'll do that in the next episode and everything that i'm exploring around here i'm exploring with you i don't really walk around and do a um plan of what to do so let's go explore this some more with you guys so coming around over here we have a small well here and it looks like it does go down don't really want to drop down but um yeah i like the design and the detail of the well Coming up here along the battlement and the hoardings, we have a nice view over the town. Even though it is peacetime, the hoardings are up. And yeah, I just really like the view. Oh, that's another thing I like about Rust on his build is that he puts in details where you probably wouldn't see him unless he actually stumble across them like this uh, bird and nest that we have here is um a small detail as you saw that i wouldn't have come to unless if i actually looked out but if i'm looking out this way yeah you wouldn't really see it but i like it great job dress And Drust is a master of putting details into his build. He thinks of everything and I haven't so far noticed anything that has not been detailed. So we come across what looks like horse stables and I do like the design of it, of how he made the doors. But personally on my build, I use half doors to open them and close them. But here on Darwin Reforged, there is no entities, so you can just have them open or anything and then just depict like the horses belong in there, even though you don't see any, which is fine. It just probably takes a lot and would have a lot of lag to have actual entities on the server. Up here, we have the Horse Master's house and a small kitchen area small living area it looks good eating kitchen kitchen area and up here they have their own porch that overlooks well it would be a battlement that overlooks the town but i highly doubt that it's going to be a siege at any moment but during peacetime, the view is amazing. Non-peacetime, I'm sure it's a very scary view looking out at an army over there. Coming up to the last part up here of the building, we have a small bedroom. I do like it a lot. So as I said, Drust is an admin on the server. He um, is a great guy too. Love talking with him. And just the details on his build are amazing. Wanting to come out and overlook the uh, other buildings of the town below of the plot. 
And this though over there, that landscape is being is not part of the plot. It's the plot next door, which makes it kind of cool. In some plots, some people build awesome things next to each other. And I always love seeing that. So let's check out what's in here. Have small defensive walkway within the wall, which I love about what Rust uses. He's very good at using all his um, space available, utilizing it. Go back just in case I don't want to miss anything going out the other way. So we'll come out where we came in this way. Archway coming through. Oh yeah, that's where we came out. So I'll just close that so I don't get confused. Back in this building and we have a small like picnic area. Small table where people sit down and relax and enjoy themselves. And I do like this little fountain design. Nice job. We have um, a small garden in here. Purposes during a siege, it would um, be a place where they'd be able to get fruits and vegetables anytime that they need it without having to go outside of the uh, castle walls, making it a self sustaining castle. And over on this side is a small uh, storage shed for their fruit and vegetables and everything. Looks like we have some pumpkins coming in. Not fully grown yet. I really do like the detail of everything. Even the little composting pile and a rat making himself at home there. A great job on the detail dress. I love it. And of course, you gotta have eggs and a uh, chicken coop to be able to provide for those eggs. And these are three roaming chickens as one got up there, probably parkoured his way around. What's over here? More battlements inside and it wraps around and I did not see this when looking around it obviously goes out through the um, garden and everything. I actually did not really notice them when walking in the garden. I was just too focused on all the plants and everything. Great job dress. back in if there's oh yeah it leads into that building i don't really want to go in there yet but um we'll come up here to the top and take a look and this uh overlooks another causeway that goes up to looks like a back uh gatehouse And I really like that. Great job. And I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, it's really raining right now, really heavily. So hopefully the, my microphone isn't picking that up too much. Before we go in the gatehouse, let's take a look on the outside of it coming down this causeway. I just want to take a look at that tent. As we are at the edge of the plot, it, um, what they do like to do is have as much detail at every part of your plot, even on the edges. Um, and which Russ have done here by adding in a tent. I'm guessing it's like a uh, merchant tent, but let's go in. It is exactly a merchant tent, as I mentioned. 
very nice and ornate. So obviously this guy has money. And he set up a camp here just outside the castle. But I just wanted to take a look at the causeway and everything. Um, only with plots you can pretend that they continue on like this road continues on. But with the restrictions of having a plot, you can only build so much. And I really like it. Great job, Dress. Coming up to this fortified gatehouse, even though the walls are a lot shorter, the hoarding still offers formidable defenses and everything. Too, and this book colors can be closed at, as needed. And this is obviously a weapon storage room in here. And we have where the gate comes up, which is great to have. Um, when building gatehouses and stuff, a lot of times people will just build the portcullis to zip it up and then nothing up above it. Here is a small bathroom. Then up on the top floors, looks like storage and a place for the guards to socialize and relax when they're not necessarily on duty or taking a break. But what I do love about Dress's builds is that he's really good at mechanics. Like he has weights and counterweights and stuff to have the four colors open and everything. Um, that's something I need to improve myself. So. I have something for inspiration here, and Drust is a YouTuber, so maybe we can get him to um, make a video on explaining it and on how to make them. So great job, Drust. I really like it. This leads off into the main keep. I'm just going to close that. Oh, sweet. So this here leads into like a small eating area on the other side of the um, gatehouse. That's really cool. I like that it's kind of tucked away. The only way into there is the wall itself. That looks great. I like it. Here we have a practice field with a uh, fight and obviously someone got hurt. A place to store wood for the fireplaces. Great. I like it. And an archery, uh, someone's gonna be uh, practicing their bow skills here. And I don't know why I just pictured a um, leveling up noise from Skyrim. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played Skyrim and know what I'm talking about. That's what I just pictured in my mind. So the detail on the exteriors of this building I really like. Um, some like overhangs and little walkways underneath and even the way that we have uh, the plants going up the side of the building. I really like it. Here we have Maester Morgan, surgeon and infirmary. So obviously this building here is like a hospital from what I'm guessing. Back in like medieval times, we had a something called a barber surgeon. So barber surgeons were basically surgeons, but and we know them as barbers now just cutting hair, but those guys used to do surgery as well. So obviously the surgeon table where they would um, actually close doors and um, 
they would have all their tools and everything so we walk immediately on into the surgery room right on over here we must have the uh, surgeon study where any medical notes they make or findings or anything that's already known would probably be stored in here Coming back this way, we have a small seating area for the surgeon, I'm guessing. Take them both, maybe relax a little bit in between working on helping people. This just leads out the back. Then this section here is obviously a small like eating area and this is what I love the most about the uh, Conquest Reforged mod is the corner block and the vertical half slab. It really brings in a lot of detail and stuff and gives you more versatility in your build. And in this room here we have a small kitchen. I really do like it a lot. Great job, Dress. Right way. I think there's another way out. Nope. Okay. Cool. So, I want to make sure I'm seeing everything. Coming out this way. have another door here oh a little closet area maybe a little changing area where they change into the clothing that they need to for surgery oh there was another way out of kitchen okay and uh, this must be like a little mail room or something like that bathroom Wait. and I'm not that great at putting bathrooms in my builds but thrust really is uh, it brings it more to real life people gotta use the bathroom so there has to be a place to go and that's something I need to work on myself and this must be the recovery room with we have some people here who can watch over the patient here and this room is the laundry room for all the sheets and towels that people use that might be uh, bloody they would wash them in here which would sanitize them from the heat and then hang them right on up See what Right out here, we have a nice balcony that overlooks the way in. Another bathroom, probably for the people in recovery. And a place for them to relax as well. I really like it. Great detailed rest. Even like even the way that the uh, fireplace uh, goes into the wall. I really like that design. We have a small study. And another small balcony too that overlooks the way in. I think we saw everything here and there is another way up. Alright, up here we have more ornate walls and stuff. Um, take a look. Must be the uh, surgeon's um, bathtub. Oh, 
Oh, nice. I really like this. Um, must be a study and they have some sort of like magical properties or something with the uh, void in there. small rooms to be able to hang out into a small bedroom with overlook here really enjoying the build dress great job so I'll close that off since I've already been in there I don't think I'm missing a room. Oh, okay, I almost did. We have another small kitchen. No, this isn't a kitchen. Must be more of a medicinal room. That must be what it is. Yeah, because we have a potion uh, bottle over here. So, I like it. Here. I'm questioning if I've been in certain rooms, so let me just double check real quickly. Yep. Okay. So continuing on, we're going to find some stairs. We're going to go up this way, see what's up here. There's a way out to the... Uh, Defenses. Nice. And what I like is that everything seems to be accessible to be walking around and stuff as it would be. There would be need to be able to put guards everywhere. So even though the army probably would come up here, archers would probably come up here, there'd still be ways them to come up and defend the castle as needed and here we have a small place where they're growing herbs and everything i really like it Ooh. i honestly would probably be sitting up here if i lived in this castle I really like this a lot. Great job, dress. Let's head back down the stairs. I know that there is another set of stairs. We'll head up those. Yep. Okay. So this must be in the main uh, in the main uh, tower that we were in. Or see a sitting area. I do like on how with the more ornate walls and stuff you put in glass. Uh, not everywhere would have glass. It just depends on how much money there was. Here we have a way out onto the battlements. Nice. It's a nice bedroom, I must say bathroom right off of it that way I believe yeah okay going the right way here first more seating and reading area another small kitchen right down in here awesome so there's a place to eat on every floor. Coming up to this next floor, we have like a more another storage room. Like that's where the other stairways were coming from. A small bedroom, awesome.
Can you write on up? Now I picture like a maester in Game of Thrones sitting up here writing down some notes. But this is a hazard, I'd probably fall. Especially if you're reaching for a goblet or something, but that'd be me. Let's head right on back down. And I'll be with you guys in just a second. Alright guys, and I'm back. So I just decided to have a seat here right next to the fountain. I do hope you enjoyed this show around through that um, surgeon infirmary area and around the exterior. In the next episode, we'll go in the main keep, it looks like. And I do remember Colonel Scudders saying in a comment that there's a place to go underground. Most likely it's under the main keep. So in the next episode, we'll start to explore that. Hopefully finish it all in one. But thank you for joining me again on another video of going around Dressalua's plot. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, let, let me know what you think or if I missed anything in Dress. Feel free to correct me if I got any information wrong. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification bell so you know when more videos come out. And until the next one, bye.